I have something really fun to share with you today. I'm kind of excited. So I, I usually make cards, but sometimes I like to venture into a few little things. And today, one of my, I think my second favorite thing after cards is just to make little things to give, like little treats. So I've got three different ways to send a little Easter treat or, put, or something you can put in Easter baskets. So they're all three really pretty quick and simple. And I am just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Brutus Monroe has a whole bunch of really cute Easter products. And I only have a few, but I thought I would show you some of the ones that I have. Because I, I will, there's just not enough time to do all of them. But um, last month, this was the in the inspiration kit. This is called Splish Splash. And it's got this cute little Easter basket. It's got Easter eggs in it. So many cute little things you can use for spring. So this is a good thing if you want something that will carry you from either all through spring and beyond that. There's all kinds of things you can do with this set. And then I thought I would show you a couple of other things I have. Um, there's this cute simple blends. You could use that a few different ways. And then this set I'm going to be using next week. What, Darren? Hi. hi Michelle thanks for joining so this is a really cute set I haven't even inked it yet I'm so excited I'm going to use this next week on a card I have a plan for this one and it is called excellent gnomes totally cute so we will you can look forward to seeing that one on my project next week and then as we talked about here's the hippy hoppity doodle bug paper and I've used so much that now it's not even in one piece. And I've been using the scraps. I still, I'm kind of a paper hoarder. And I love, like, I just love this paper. I don't want to use it all up in one sitting. But you know what? It's just paper. I can always buy more, right? So I see I used all the little scraps. Um, and you'll see how we utilize those. And then oh, I'll show you one more product before we jump in. And that is... The really pretty dye from the um, dye of the month from last month. It's called Bunny and Flowers. And there's so many pretty things you can do with this. I'll show you something that um, it would be a variation on something that we make today. So don't forget that. And of course, there's the chit chat that I pulled from the Doodlebug collection. We are going to use some piece from that today, too. So, first thing I think we'll make is just a, it's super simple. I'm telling you, you guys are going to be like, whoa, I could make a million of those. And this little thing I'm going to show you is just perfect for if you're giving something to like your kid's school class or you just want to give something to um, just a little random act of kindness. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a piece of, um, I, I'm going to cut, well, I've already cut it. I have to be honest with you. I've already pre-cut it, but I cut a piece of paper it's eight, and a, it's eight inches wide, so you'll just cut a half inch of your eight and a half by 11. And then it's two inches, it's actually two inches wide if you're holding it this way and eight inches long. And then I scored it at, what did I score that at? At three and three quarters and four and a quarter. So that we have this little area here. And then go to your stamp stash your punches if you've got I don't know if you have a ton of these like I do I don't use them all the time anymore there for a while they were really the thing to do but I still have several of these little edgers and I have to tell you I haven't figured out how to get them completely lined up so they're exact on the same side but um just I'm just gonna kind of center it and hope for the best it's okay if it's not ex an exact match, but if you're a perfectionist, like a big time measurer, that might bug you. You might want to just do them at the same time, but I had a hard time getting it to cut all the way through when I tried that. So maybe we'll try it this way. I'll line it up and cut all the way to the edges. I thought I was. Hang on. So I got to get it back in there and line it up. And all of them are designed a little different, so you'll have to 
line it up according to how yours is made. This is bent down. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with mine for some reason. Oh, I'm so glad the sound is working. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, Louisana, thank you so much. I don't know what I'm doing with this that it's not cutting, but we'll try it again. I'm apparently a little challenged this afternoon. There we go. And then we want to get this last little edge on this side, and hopefully it doesn't bend over this time. There we go. Now I can see it. Okay, so now we've got it all the way across. So I may actually just kind of see if I can line it up this way. Now that we've got the one side done. Donna says hi. Hi, Donna. Thanks for joining. Is that about even? So give or take a little. We'll try it this way. Okay. Okay, so now we'll catch those edges. It's a little easier to see it when the little door on it is open. Hi, Tina. Oh, looks like I kind of caught the edge of this. But honestly, it's not tragic. Margaret says hi. Hi, Margaret. Thanks for joining. It's really not a super big deal. If you're a perfectionist, it'll bug you more then it's going to bug me. Okay. So that is the back because that is would bug me if it was the front. So we've got our cute little, I don't know what you want to call this, but it's going to hold our little treat. I guess we call it, we'll call it a treat holder, huh? So next we're going to take out our chit chat. And I pulled a couple of these. I've got several of these already scored and I've done the edges on them because I want to show you how quickly you can make these. So I'm going to grab the ones that I already pulled. I pulled this one aside. It says Easter Egg Excitement. And there's tons in here. Look at all that comes in this little thing. This is from the chit chat. So you could do all kinds of things, but I think we'll kind of keep them as a little, kind of like a little set. But look how cute this would be. Just these little stamps. I think they are so cute. Michelle says hi from Kentucky. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining. Hoppy days are here again. You could put anything on there. Look how cute that is. So we're going to use some of the circles, I think, because I think I'm going to do them all kind of together. We'll do that one. Easter on, is on its way. Happy Easter. And where was that other one? That other one was cute, too. Patty says hi. Bye, Patty. Hi, Patty. Thanks for coming on. I'm glad you found me. All right. So I'm going to just set all that aside for now, anyway. We'll dip back into this bag in a second. And we're just going to just um, punch a couple of holes, I think. And I'm just going to use what I have handy. I've just, I was going to grab my punch and I got busy doing other things. So I've got this little flower punch and that'll work just fine for what we're doing. So I'm going to do two little holes. And I can't promise that they're lined up. I think that's okay. What was that? Patty came because of Louisiana. Oh, thank you, Louisiana and Patty. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Hi, Gail. Thanks for joining. Okay, so this is in here snug enough that honestly, I probably don't need to do anything to secure it. But if I wanted to, I could just add a little bit of um, tissue tape. We'll just stick a little on there just so you can see. We'll just stick a little bit on our wrapper here. It actually probably would be easier to stick it onto your cardstock, but I like to do everything the hard way first. So you can watch me do that and then you can avoid it. I like to take that bullet for you. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's do that. So we'll just kind of center that on there. And then we are going to grab some ribbon. Actually, yeah, let me grab, hang on one sec. Okay, I decided I wanted all my ribbons to match. So I got a different kind of ribbon because I have quite a bit of it. <laughs> let's use this guy up. So we are just going to take our ribbon and go through both holes. Sorry, I know I'm holding it kind of close to myself, so I need to make sure you guys can see it on the camera. And then we're just going to simply tie a little bow. And you could make several of these, like I think you could probably get, what, four out of a sheet? And really fast, this is something you could do in an evening. Patty said she's following you so she can be notified when you come on. Oh, thank you, Patty. Yeah, I come on every Wednesday, the same, about the same time every week. I try to keep it pretty consistent. I was a little worried I wasn't going to get on today because they were working on the electricity. So our electricity was off for a couple of hours today, but thankfully it all worked out. Okay, I know you guys have heard me rave about these, but I love these. These are the Easy Tab Foam Dots. And I'm just going to, I just got some back in because I went through them so fast because I love them. And so we're just going to add, I think we'll add two. I think that'll be plenty. And then watch this. Do you have a hard time getting the little backers off of your foam squares or foam dots? These make it so simple. If you go too fast, you can rip it off. I think I'm probably one of the only people who can make an easy tab hard, but <laughs> I have done it. If you just take your time. Look how easy and cute. Just a super simple, it's not super um, centered. Let's move it over a little bit. But just super simple. And if you have, like I said, if you're giving it to a bunch of people, this is just an easy way to make something quick and easy. So we, we can go back to that and make some more in a minute. But let's actually, you know what, let's just finish them. Sorry, a little indecisive. Let's do Happy Easter on this one. I think I'll just go ahead and put the front on first. And I just tucked the cute. tab underneath. Just simple, but you know, sometimes you need something a little more simple. You're not going to want to spend a long time if you're making enough for a school class or something. Or a Girl Scout troop. You might not have the time to make as many or make them quite as detailed as other things. But it's so fun. I love giving little things like this out. They're just nice and personal and just a fun way to just say, hey, I thought about you. This time I remembered to put it on the cardstock instead of the candy. All right, so we'll just stick that right inside. I think it's easier to do it this way. And that's the funny thing. When you are making a whole bunch of something, you kind of find your way as you go. You find your ways to making it quicker and fast and easy, right? So we're just going to slide that through. Who said that? Donna. Thanks, Donna. Donna R. Thank you, Donna R. <laughs> Okay, so this one went together much faster than that other one. She does ones with little nugget chocolate. Oh, I love those candies. Pretty much I love all candy. <laughs> Tina did? Yeah. Tina, how are ya? 
Thanks for joining. All right. So, just need to adjust my bow a little bit and I can trim it up. And we have got another one down. All right, so we've got two. Let's make one more and then we'll go on to the next Louisana one. Luisana said your voice is so soothing. Oh, Luisana, you're so sweet. I would sing you a little song, but you might have nightmares. <laughs> I actually. Says she usually perfects by the time she gets to the end. It's true. You you get the rhythm and you find your way. And I kind of like the pink one. What do you guys think? Pink or yellow? I'll punch the holes while you guys decide. Nicole said, "Sing." Sing. <laughs> Okay, so you can see I'm totally off center, but I really think it's going to be okay. It's good practice for me to not worry so much about if it's perfect or not. Okay, did you guys, did anybody have an opinion? Nope. Yellow. 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 We got one. Okay. Yellow it is. Luxana says she sings during her lives all the time. I'm going to have to watch more of those so I can see you sing. I actually um, just started doing Zoom for church. I teach the kids. Uh, I teach the kids music, singing time. And so that was interesting. I've only done one so far, but it was a lot of fun. I felt like they, they responded well to it. So that was kind of interesting in these interesting times to do to do a music time without being able to hear the kids sing. <laughs> Nicole says, if Lou can sing, so can you. And <laughs> Tina says, Lou sings a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. So I will tell you guys a confession. So my, one of the things that my family enjoys doing, probably me more than them even, is I don't, I'm not a big gamer. My, my kids really love games and all of that stuff, but I'm not like a super big gamer person. But we had a game we used to love, and now we just, we don't even use the game. But we like, had this game called Karaoke Revolution. Have you guys ever heard of it? That was a fun game. Oh my gosh, we had so much fun playing that game. You'd get unplugged if you didn't sing it on tune, on in the right key or whatever. I guess it didn't matter what key as long as it was... As long as you were bad, you got yeah. it. <laughs> it was funny, though. We had good times singing that. Now we just have a little karaoke machine that comes out maybe once a year. It's, it's not as fun as some characters. Yeah. The, the boys liked it better when you could choose your characters. And... and they did a little dance on the screen. It was more fun that way. But I'm a closet karaoke person. <laughs> Okay, so there are our little treats. And think of how cute that would be in a little bowl. Just to have around to give to your little visitors or whatever. I know we all have so many visitors right now, right? It's going to take to work for your desk. But yeah, these would be cute to give people at the office, something like that. So those, you saw how quickly those went together. Let's move on to the next project so that we get them all in there. So the next thing we're going to do, these are the uh, Brutus Monroe mega jumbo oh sorry not mega but jumbo jumbo media tags and these are actually also eight inches long and they're four inches across i have too many products up here i'm gonna have to move some of them over so i actually have room to work we'll move our little like treat guys oh man that would be fun surround sound would be scary if i was doing it <laughs> Darren, he and he is a good sport, and we have a lot of fun, huh, Darren? But we haven't done it in a long time. Maybe we'll have to do that sometime soon. Cheryl says hi. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, so I have to get my cheat sheet. 
So we are just going to, and I did not make up any of these ideas. I got these ideas, just so you know, off of Pinterest, like everybody else does. I kind of altered them to my own liking, but um, this one I thought was really cute. This one, we're going to, uh, I, I liked it with the, the jumbo tags. So we're going to score this at three and a half from the top. So I've just got my um, score blade high. on. Hi, Maria. Thanks for joining. Donna says your grandkids will love those last things you made. Oh, yeah, they're really fun. And like I said, they're really simple to put together. So I scored this at three and a half, and now I'm going to score it at five and a quarter. So I'm just going to move it down my cutter, and I'm sorry if it's not in view. It's kind of a long cutter and kind of a short amount you're, of space. You're in view. Okay, so we Good. are going to... Score it. I just want to make sure I have it right before I do it. Okay, so five and a quarter. So five and a quarter. And then I'm going to score it again at five and three quarters. Maria says it's a great treat to catch you live. Oh, it's so sweet of you to join. Good I'm, I'm glad you're here, Maria. Up. Oh, yeah, the time change is kind of nice sometimes. We don't change. Okay, and then there's one last score line at seven and a half. So I've got to extend my cutter out a little bit. So I've got that last score line. Okay. Now I can get that out of the way for now and we can have a little more room to work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of work with my score lines so I can see them better. Okay, so the first one I think I'll do is, I think we'll do the back. So this little piece right here is cut, um, so it's cut three and a half, because remember we scored it at three and a half. And I'm going to, actually this one I must have cut a little bit smaller because the bottom isn't gonna show. So just as long as it lines up at the top, you're fine. And you're gonna just cut those off and poke a little hole here. So let's just go ahead and get that attached. I think I'll just do it on here. Want a couple up close to the top. Okay. Actually, we should probably put one more a little bit closer to the bottom. All right, we have plenty on there now. Theresa says hello. Hi, Theresa. She's in Utah on a ski resort. Oh, Theresa, I saw that you're in Utah and I saw that you went and saw Carol. That's awesome. Have fun. Okay guys, so now we're going to line this up and I, I'm sure I'm crooked because I'm really good at that. Okay, isn't that cute paper? I love that pattern. So now we're just going to trim that up once I figure out where I put my scissors. There they are. So we'll just turn it over, trim off the edges. And Brad did? Yeah, Brad fit. Hi, Brad. Thanks for joining. And I'm just going to go... There we go. I'm just going to use that little hole. It doesn't matter. We're not really going to see too much of it anyway because we are going to tie a ribbon in there. But first, we have some more to do on this. So we're going to end up bending this one this way. And we're going to bend this one this way. This, it's good to have a crease tool or a bone fold or whatever you want to call it when you are doing any kind of dimensional box or anything. Michelle, since you came home with a special treat, a really big box for Bridget Monroe. Oh, Michelle, that is a special treat. I might have signed up for uh, Create Your Own Ending today. That is a really fun virtual event that's going to be happening in August. 
that is incredible. There's there's going to be like 10 classes. There's, um, I think, five make and takes. It's going to be amazing. They just had one that was staycation that was a little bit smaller scale, and it was a lot of fun. So I am way psyched that I get to do that. Okay, so then we've got these. Other, look at all these scrap pieces, all these little pieces you can use. So you will use every little bit that you've got in your little paper pad. So this is, they're both four inches long. This one is a half inch, and this one is, I can't remember, let's see. I think it's one and three quarters. So one and three quarters? Yes, one and three quarters. And those are going, we're gonna put those on before we assemble this box. It's important that we, we do it this way. So you would think it was gonna go there, but it's not. It's going to go right here. And so we'll go ahead and tape that on. And there's one key thing we'll have to do before we can assemble our box. So, I think it's time to ask the question that's obvious for, for Easter treat making. What is your favorite Easter treat? Darren's is definitely easy for me to know. He loves Cadbury cream eggs. Nicole says Shannon needs some glue. Glue probably would be good. I'm just working fast, so this is a little faster for me, I think. Maybe, yes, maybe not. They're playing a four feet of snow. Oh, four feet of snow, wow. A little different than Arizona weather, huh, Theresa? Okay, so then I'm just going to stick this on here. But yes, if you use glue, it's probably better to get your Maria ends. Stale peeps. Who said that? Maria. Maria, that is so funny. I have heard a few people say they like them when they're stale. Do you just put them on your fridge or something to make them go stale? Maria okay. likes Reese's peanut butter eggs. Yeah? Basically what you just put on your thing. Basically what we just put on there, yeah. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, if you do not have a set of um, if you have a die machine, but do not have a set of circle dies. Jen says hi. Hi, Jen. Thanks for joining. And her husband likes the Cadbury eggs. The Cadbury cream eggs or the mini eggs? Cream eggs. This, uh, we're going to use this little guy. We don't really need this one. I ended up not doing what I was going to do with that. This little guy is the right size. It looks like it's about the fourth from the smallest. Marlene likes frozen peeps. Frozen peeps. I never even thought of freezing them. Man, I need to get out more, I guess. You always get the more, most comments when you ask people what they like to eat. <laughs> it's true, because everybody likes candy, right? Um, Tina likes the chocolate-covered marshmallows and peeps. Oh, oh Tina, I am a and huge fan of chocolate-covered marshmallows. Eggs, which I already like, too. Yes, anything Cadbury. Okay, so I just sent her that. I've got this repositionable tape that doesn't... I like it because it doesn't leave a lot behind. But So I just centered it-ish. We'll say it's centered-ish because I'm doing it. And I'm just going to hurry and cut that out on my die cutter. So I'll just keep talking to you from a, just around my table on the other side. Maria says still she just opens the boxes on the counter for a few days. Oh, that makes sense. Michelle likes the peanut butter eggs. I like it all. That's my problem. I like all of them. Patty likes anything caramel. You guys are going to be grossed out probably, but I'm going to tell you, you know those, um, they're old fashioned kind of. They're, they're marshmallows, but they're not like soft like marshmallows are. They're kind of like those peanuts, like those circus peanuts, but they're Easter ones. I kind of like those. A little goes a long way, but I kind of like those. I think I like them for the nostalgia as much as anything else though. But yeah, I think that the marshmallow, chocolate covered marshmallow anything is my, is my fave. I love that. Okay, so now we've got this cute little box. And you're probably wondering what this is for. Let's first, let's finish putting it together. I colored ahead of time so you didn't have to watch me color. But I colored this cute little stamp. This is called, um, I think it's called Favorite Chickadee. Is that what it's called, Darren? It's called... Chicken, yeah. And it's really cute. Look how cute this is. So I went ahead and colored that ahead of time. I kind of want to make sure it's 
I've got it up high enough. Maybe we'll put it a little higher. I think it's okay if the ears poke up all over. So I'm totally lying to you. I'm going to go ahead and put this together <laughs> ahead of time. Like anything that resembles a circuit peanut candy. You are, you are probably up in the majority rather than the minority, Jen. I like them, but in moderation. I can't yes, it, it, eat too many and you know it right away. <laughs> but yeah, I, I know they're, they're kind of a weird thing but like I said I think it's nostalgia as much as anything else so I will use glue for this so that it holds better thank you Michelle you gonna go over the coloring um I, I wasn't going to is anybody is somebody asking no, I'm just, you got no I used I will tell you what I used to color this is I used the spectrum noir uh, tri-blend markers if you're wanting to try alcohol markers, but are put off a little bit by the expense, because they are they are an investment. They're they're kind of pricey, but the tri blend ones are a good way to start and work your way up because they come with three tips. And when you're coloring with alcohol markers, typically you'll start with like three of a color, and you've got your lighter, your medium tone, and your darker tone. And these are a great way to start. And Brutus Monroe does carry those. So uh, Darren's posting links as, as we're going along too. So thank you for that, Darren. So we're going to use some more of our little adhesive dots. I'll post the colors you use. All right. All right. So now we can put our little characters on and what's fun about this is it kind of lined up just right so we've got an egg here and we're going to have an egg right here you can use a Cadbury egg there's all kinds of chocolate eggs these days but also it's good for if you just want to do your own egg this is actually from the egg hunt promotion that's going on with Brutus Monroe right now. Mine had some sequins in it. But, and if you don't, see I was kind of bothered by how bright this is compared to all the fun pastel colors, or they're not exactly pastel, but you know what I'm saying. So if you wanted to, you could just kind of make it match. And you can put a little sentiment or something on it. I, I didn't do that. Oh, and we want to put a little bit of ribbon here though. Let's put a little bit of ribbon on ours. And then we'll do our last project. I'm just gonna grab a little piece of this. Just looking, I, oh, there they are. I knew I had my ribbon scissors up here. Okay. And I will say, especially if you're new to this, uh, new to watching videos through me or Brutus Monroe, I always post the video a couple days later um, on the Crafty Shenanigans YouTube channel and the Brutus Monroe YouTube channel. So you can watch the replay or if you've forgotten something or if you have tuned in a little later, they are available to see. Okay. So now we've got, now it looks finished, right? And I'll take a photo that you can see better when I post the video. But yeah, you could put a cute little sentiment here, or you could try sticking one out through here. And I may still do that before I post it, but. Is so cute. Thank you so much. I think we will move on to the last project. And this one is, what was that? Oh, so she loves projects. I love projects too. They're just fun, aren't they? So this one, we're going to use uh, this cute little set. Did we ever find out what this little set was called? No, didn't find it. It's just, it, it was a stamp of the month. I don't know how long ago, but I just love it. It might have been last year. I can't remember, but it's just got this cute little chocolate bunny, and it's got this cute little kind of like a peep, and then, um, it's hard to see oh, and I, I wanted to point out one more thing. So this set, I'm not sure if they're still available. I will apologize ahead of time if they're not, but... 
Um, I've shown you a few stamps from the, the uh, uh, there's a box called 12 Months of Stamps and Stencils. And this stamp was among those. It's also sold separate now, and Darren's got a link to that. But I, I don't know if the other one is available anymore. If it is, Darren will link it. But that, if you buy it in the box, they come with these cute little stencils too. So all of the stamps have a matching stencil, and this is the one that goes to this one. So there is that. Okay, so I wanted to use this little guy with um, the basket from, remember last week when I showed you the little, the little bunny and the little chick? I showed you that card that we made last week. This is the basket that came in this set. Louisiana says that bunny stamp was from years ago. Oh, well, it's still available, I think. So, yeah, it's a fun little stamp, I isn't it? Find it so I'm not sure it might it not be available anymore. If it's not, I apologize. But if you have it in your stash, pull it out because it works. Hoppy Spring. Hoppy Spring. Thank you. This works perfect with this basket from that set. It's like just the right scale, I think. At least I like my chocolate bunnies big like that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we've got little eggs that I've cut from that set. It's still there. Oh, we do. There are still some available, so jump on that while you can. And I've got another piece from our chit chat. And this die is called Lace Gate. This uh, is one of the beautiful dies that British Monroe offers. And we're going to use that. And... Oh, I was going to put this behind. See, you have so many cute little scraps. If you had wa wanted to, you could put this behind the little medallion. I thought it was missing something. That's what it was. So I had a piece sitting right there for it, too. Well, I guess I'll use that scrap for something else, huh? Okay. So I just grabbed some gift bags. I, I mean, everybody has gift bags in their stash, right? So this one, we're just going to add some embellishments to it just so we can make a little treat bag. We're going to use the lace gate, and this time I think I will use the glue because I think it will be a little better on this intricate design. And I'm not gluing every little detail, I'm just kind of gluing where I need to to anchor it down. I'm talking a lot. Am I missing comments? Sorry if I'm no, talking too much. Not. Other than what I told you. So. Thank you. All right. So it's what I was going to tell you is this is where uh, you can improvise with that other one that I showed you. That one that has the bunny on the bottom. The dive. Uh, I'll show you in a second. So we just need to kind of tack that down, kind of make sure all of the glue is going down. That little cord makes it a little bit more challenging. But I think we're fine now. The other die was this one. It's called uh, Bunny and Flowers. So if you wanted to, you could put this portion up at the top and this portion down at the bottom. That'd be really cute, wouldn't it? Okay, so now we're going to use our little basket. I've been dying to use this, so I'm excited to play. And I'm going to put the basket on first. To me, it's easier to build around the basket. So I'm just going to... I don't want to get too close to the top because I'm going to want to tuck some things behind it. Says how you're decorating the bag too. Thank you so much. That was Jen? Yep. Thank you, Jen. Sorry, I'll talk louder. It's okay, I'm also, there's something going on outside, and so it's kind of loud. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. All right, so let's get this part of our basket on, and we will go from there. All right. So I think we'll start, maybe, I don't want to go down, to, well, maybe down a little ways. Maybe we'll go to about this last line. We'll use this as our guide. I think I want it a little bit closer to the edge. 
back a little bit off camera. It's okay if the top of it is, as long as they can see what I'm doing. Right the bottom. Is it still? No, you fixed it. Okay. I was behind on this game. So. Thank you. So I'm going to put the glue along this little edge here, because I'm going to want the grass to kind of, I'm gluing the grass to the basket rather than the rather than the bag because we're going to put stuff behind it and if I had thought ahead it would have been easier probably to do that before I put everything else on but that's okay we work around it right okay so see it's still I'm still able to move around behind it and now let's put our little handles on and I thought it was fun this paper kind of has a little bit of a of a basket weave look to it so I thought that was kind of fun for our basket and that I actually probably should have glued to the back I'm going to let's glue it on this side and we'll kind of glue that more to the bag That's better because we're going to want to put stuff all around there. Okay, so now let's fill this basket. So I went ahead and stamped that little bunny and I stamped it with the embossing ink and then I embossed it with uh, the copper. It's copper penny or it's just called penny, but it is a copper. It is penny embossing powder. And if you love copper, you will love that one. So let's kind of mess around with where we want that. I, was, I think I want it down a little lower. So we'll move it to this side. So I think, do we want it or do we want it in front? Oh, we want it in the basket. Okay. So let's glue that guy down. You want to make sure that he's not coming out the basket on the bottom and then we've got this cute little bow I think we'll add that let's add that last though let's put our eggs in so I think we'll use I've got two sides to choose from which is kind of fun I think we'll kind of lift that one up a little bit We want the bunny to be a little bit more of the star of the show, I think. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So let's put this stripe guy up a little higher. That'll be the one that's in the back. And then you can put some foam on these two if you want to kind of vary the, the depth. Maybe we'll do that on this. No, I think we'll just. Mm. Yeah, let's do it on this one. I think this one will be in the front, but we'll put it down a little lower. There we go. So now we've got all of the, we've got all our eggs in one basket, right? And now we can put our bow on. Do we want it there? I'm liking it on this side. All right. So now we just need to add our little sentiment. And because it does kind of have this, um, kind of awkward spot where the handles are I'm going to just use our foam maybe we'll just put one in the middle too you could even use gift bags for your Easter baskets just depends on how you like to do Easter. We do Easter a little bit different every year, I think. 
but I'm trying to do a little less candy and a little more substance. So look at our little bag. That was so quick and easy. And now we can just add our little treats in there. And this is great. I kind of love, I mean, the pandemic is, is rough and it's hard for everybody, but this is, it's kind of made me branch out a little bit and just take a little treat here and there, um, trying to find ways to connect with my neighbors that honestly I hadn't really connected with some of them before. But, oh, thank you, Gail. But see, look, now I've got that all ready to go. I can take that over to somebody and, you know, wish them a happy Easter. And it was so simple. You might want to add a little bit more. I think I'll probably add another Jen says it's adorable. square here. Jen says it's adorable. Thank you so much, Jen. And, and easy. Up. Wasn't it easy? This was. These were all three super simple projects. We got the whole thing done in, what, an hour? Yeah, 45 minutes. That's all the problem at the beginning. So imagine how many of these little guys you could turn out in that much time. And you could use whatever you wanted. I, I mean, obviously, I used something that was pre-printed. But you could use little stamps. You could use those cute little gnomes I showed you earlier and just turn out a bunch of these. You could color a whole bunch of these, uh, you know, sit down and color a bunch of them, and then the next day do another step. But it's just so fun to put all these little treats together. Thank you so much for putting up with me today. I know that the, the sound was kind of crazy at first, so thank you for sticking in there and, and watching this. And thank you for joining me as always. And thank you to all of you who are new for, for joining and giving me a shot. And I will be here again next Wednesday at three o'clock. And I have a fun card planned using the little ex excellent gnomes. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.